So the fact that the Anastasia Beverly Hills for Romance palette failed so bad in my opinion just got me inspired to talk about some palettes that are in my opinion a nice fall vibe that you already have. So none of these here did release this year. None of them. Or did they? No. I think the like youngest one released last year for fall. So chances are high that one of these five palettes that I'm going to talk about you already have in your collection and that is a sign that you definitely do not need the fall romance. So let's head into my personal favorite fall theme palette. Just a little disclaimer in general. I don't care for seasonal makeup at all. I wear fall looks, winter looks, summer looks, spring looks all year round. <laughs> but I know that a lot of people do like not plan out their looks, but they do shift their priorities depending on the season. That's why I thought it might be helpful. I don't know what is better. Something with the background is off in my opinion. Is it the lighting? Do you have any tips on what I can do? Because I do have like this ring light and then two side lights. <sighs> but I don't want to have the background lighted enough. But I feel like this is too cool. That could be better. Let's get the most obvious out of the way. Anastasia Beverly Hills Rose Metals. This was the release for fall last year. And you know what? This is a better fall palette than fall romance will ever be. Yes. Fall Romance has a different vibe, I got this, but this is quality wise so much better. All of these mats in here, they bother themselves on. You don't have to put any effort in this. You basically just tap it, swipe it, blend it. Sometimes they even blend just when you look at them. The shimmers, I mean, look at Rose Fire, oh, fuck me. Royal, oh, this is stunning. They are so opaque and nice. It's unbelievable that this palette and Fall Romans are from the same brand. One of the things I also love about this palette is they do not have those chromes. They're topper shades. Don't get me wrong, the Super Cluster shade in Cosmos is wonderful. I really enjoy this palette. The Moonlight shade in Fall Romans is garbage. If you want to have an ABH Fall palette from their newer releases, definitely go with Rose Metals. It is absolutely stunning. I feel like you have much more room to play with the depth of your looks because you can go quite deep with Dune and Royal, but if you keep it in like Rose Quartz, Ashes, maybe a little tiny bit of element, then you have a more lighter look, while with the Fall Romans palette, you are basically pushed into a more darker smoky direction, which is what they apparently anticipated, but the quality is bullshit. But if you like the look of Fall Romans and the vibe that you get, but you also just hate like me the quality of the shades, Natasha Denona Retro will save the fucking day. This beautiful palette is a 15 pan monochromatic purple dream. Retro nearly made it to my favorite palette ever when I did my ranking series. It is nearly the perfect palette. There's just a few things that I criticize. My personal problem with Natasha Denona is all fucking ways her cream to powder shades because they never go on the lid like they look in the pan. Like this, for example, Rebellion, beautiful, bloody purple, lilac, burgundy, whatever shade, goes on like a light purple, hate it. And same with Gogo and Vivian. And these vibes that you have in here are even better than the Fall Romans vibes. And let's not talk about quality, like Natasha Denona quality is absolutely top notch. The next, in my opinion, very wonderful Fall palette is just, again, Natasha Denona, and it's the bronze palette. I know this is more of like a summery palette, or I think it came out for a summer collection, but in my opinion, this is a beautiful, warm Fall palette. You know, fallen leaves, the sun, the warm sky. That is what I get from this palette. And I think this is a beautiful one. Keep in mind that with the bronze palette, you are very, very limited. I mean, you have 15 shades, yes. But all of the looks you create will basically look the same. This still, for me, is not a reason to not love this palette. I think bronze is one of the most beautiful warm tone palettes that I own. And 
Actually, when you have bronze, you don't need any other warm tone palette or like fire looking palette like this anymore in your life. A more newer addition to my personal collection, but not to the brand's collection, Viseyard Cashmere. And I'm pretty sure this came out last year as a fall release. And this is just a beautiful mauve toned fall palette that has a nice mix out of a like a warm shift like I'm looking especially here but a lot of cool tone shifts too like this and this and like this purple beautiful quality easy to blend and to be honest this is my favorite Viseart palette and I do have like coy and coyish and shit but this nothing beats this from my Viseart collection and last but not least, and you might be surprised because this is drugstore price, that means this is super duper affordable. And I saw shops where they sold this palette for under 30 euro. It's big motherfucker, but I'm talking the Be Perfect Carnival 4. I've talked about this palette already in like a palette tag video and I posted about this on Instagram, but let me show you the inside. And you will probably die instantly, so call the ambulance. I just put it down on my shoulder to show it better. This palette to me looks like a park or like a, um, a forest in fall. Because you still have a bit of a green leaves going on, but most of them are already red and brown and they are on the floor. They just lay around on, on the path that you can walk on. Look me straight up in the eyes and tell me that this palette is not the definition of a fall vibe in nature. It is so freaking beautiful. And let me tell you, the quality you get in these um, carnival palettes, like I'm just talking especially carnival palettes. Don't try anything else from Be Perfect Eyeshadow Wise because it's just pure garbage, but they have a different formula. These are in collaboration with the uh, uh, makeup artist Stacey Marie, who does wonderful blown out smoky intense eye looks. And they developed a different formula here. The mattes are probably one of the easiest I ever used in my life. And all of these metals in here, maybe besides this one, this is more of a topper shade and maybe glisten. Yeah, these two were like more of a transparent base, but the rest, it's like liquid metal shades. You touch them, they are very soft to the touch. So if you are like a little bit too hard, this is a formula where you basically hit pan after two uses because the pigment is just moving away inside the pan. But it's nothing that you cannot work with because when you apply them, it's like swoosh. Do you know these viral TikTok videos where people are swatching glitters and then they they basically just uh, show their arm and they start up here and then they swatch, 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 uh, and the swatch just does not end. This is the formula that you get in the Carnival palettes from Be Perfect. And Carnival 4, as I said, is not only the pure definition of fall, it is my favorite palette when it comes to fall themes. Let me just tell you, if you don't have any of these palettes that I just mentioned, just look at the color story. Look at something that is warm tone, orange, mix in a bit of khaki greens, and you will have also a nice fall theme. And I'm pretty sure that if you have a bigger collection, with bigger, I mean more than maybe two eyeshadow palettes, you most likely have something that fits into that category. So definitely no need to rush out and buy these immediately. Wait for a sale if you want to have them. I cannot stress it enough. These sell for under 30 fucking euro. But one final tip, just don't buy the ABH Fall Romance palette. Just all of these are better than Fall Romance. You know what? Every single palette in my shelf is better than Fall Romance. Do you have any palettes that you just love for fall? Are you even into seasonal makeup? Is that something that you enjoy? If so, let me know down below, check out the info box. I listed all the palettes that I mentioned down there too, in case you did not listen properly, just like in school, you filthy little schmuck. And I will see you in the next one.